the last honor. The neon signs of Kabukicho flickered as Tanaka-san adjusted his black suit, the dragon tattoo on his neck pulsing with each labored breath. Twenty years in the Sumi Yoshikai hadn't prepared him for this night. His brothers in arms lay scattered across the izakaya floor, their perfectly pressed suits now stained with blood and worse. Oyabun, he whispered into his phone, it's not a rival family, something's wrong with them, they keep getting up. His boss's voice crackled through the speaker. What do you mean they keep getting up? A crash echoed from the kitchen. Through the beaded curtain, Tanaka spotted Yamamoto, his best enforcer, dead three hours ago, shambling forward with clouded eyes and grey skin. Behind him, more figures emerged, their Yakuza tattoos visible through torn shirts. They're coming back, Tanaka said, dropping the phone and drawing his tanto blade, but they're not themselves anymore. The first wave of undead Yakuza burst through the curtain. Their movements were jerky, but they maintained a terrible semblance of their former discipline. Even in death, the code of the Yakuza seemed to guide them. They moved in formation, the younger zombies deferring to their undead seniors. Tanaka backed toward the window, blade raised. These were his brothers once. He'd shared sake with them, bled with them. Now they approached with dead eyes and gnashing teeth, their fingers curved into claws. A bitter smile crossed his face as he counted them. Twelve, all higher ranking than him. In life he would have bowed to their authority. In death. Forgive my disrespect, senpai, he muttered, blade flashing in the neon light. The zombies lunged forward as one, and Tanaka met them with steel and resolve. If this was to be his last stand, he would face it as he had lived, with honor, with duty, and with perfect form. Behind him, through the window, the lights of Tokyo's underworld continued to burn, unaware that their darkest hour was just beginning. Three blocks away, in the private room of Club Dragon, Miyuki adjusted her kimono and reached for the tanto, hidden beneath her obi. As the club's mama-san, she had watched over the Yakuza's entertainment for fifteen years. Now, she watched through security cameras as her girls fled screaming from the main floor. The undead customers, still wearing their expensive suits and Rolex watches, stumbled after them with unnatural grace. These weren't the mindless zombies from movies. They retained something of their former selves. One was even attempting to straighten his tie between lunges at the fleeing hostesses. Mama-san! A young hostess burst into the room, mascara streaking her face. Kimura-san from the Inagawa Kai. He... he bit Yuki-chan. Miyuki's face hardened. She had survived the Yakuza world by understanding one thing. Respect was everything. These creatures might wear the faces of her honored customers, but they had broken the cardinal rule of her establishment. They had harmed her girls. She drew the tanto, its blade catching the light from the chandeliers. As the first undead patron crashed through her door, she noticed with grim amusement that it was trying to bow, even as it reached for her with grey, lifeless hands. You forget yourself, honored customer, she said softly, falling into a fighting stance. This establishment has rules. <laughs>